All right, subscribers, here's my Christmas gift to you. For those of you who celebrate Christmas and really don't enjoy having to reach right under the tree to, to pour water into the tree base, hoping that you don't spill water all over the floor in the process, well, this video is for you. What the contraption I've got rigged up here, it may look to the casual viewer like two random Christmas gifts, but in fact, it is not. What's hidden inside these Christmas gifts is a, I'd say a five or six liter container. And right now it's filled with water. And inside the bottom gift is a switch, a water pump, and a wire that is rooted, well, a wire that's rooted to a level switch affixed here, and of course a water supply hose that exits the gift, goes in to the base of the tree, goes up into this red pipe, and then allows the water to fill the tree base from above. So basically what happens is when the water level switch detects that the water level is too low, it sends a signal to the switch, to the water pump, which then takes water from this very large container, pumps it into your tree base. You can hear what this sounds like basically. If I lift this, which will basically um, Trick the, tr trick the pump into thinking that water level is too low. This is what it'll sound like momentarily. Just lifting it up a little bit here. There you go. That's the pump coming on and filling the tree with water. We've been on long weekends away while the tree is up and sucking water. And basically between the water that's contained in the tree base and the water that's contained in this, well, it's a Tupperware container of some sort. You get a good three, four days supply of water. And as the tree gets less thirsty, you get you know, five to six days supply of water. So what do you need to make such a contraption? Well, I'm going to list the stuff off. Let's put this back on. There we go. Obviously, you need two gift boxes. You can get those at a dollar store. And the key is, this is, these are the jugs that I'm using. The key is to have two boxes that when put together, oops, when put together are taller than the jug so that you can totally hide the jug. Secondly, you need some sort of water pump. Um, I've, since I frequent the junkyard, regularly. It was quite easy for me to grab a water pump from a um, windshield wiper fluid reservoir on a car. And what you want to make sure that you grab, if you're going to do it that way, one, you want to make sure you grab the female grommet that comes with it. Because it has a little screen and it will allow for a watertight seal. The grommet is on this one right now. Let's see if we can take it off here. Off. It's just a piece of rubber. You need the water pump itself. Don't be a fool like I was the first time around. Make sure you take a length of wire because the part that is attached to the water pump itself is the female end. So getting in there without this um, male plug, male um, connector is a little bit of a pain, but can be done. And then, heck, while you're at it, if you want to grab some length of hose, then by all means grab some hose because you're gonna need some. So, you need that. You're gonna need a length of PVC pipe. Red's kinda nice and Christmassy. The PVC pipe must be taller than the container. Um, if it's not taller than the, cont than the container, unfortunately, the way these water pumps are designed is it does not prevent backflow. So, if the water in the trees, in the, in the tree base becomes higher 
than the water level in the container, then the water level will flow the other way and will flood your beautiful Christmas boxes and soak them as well as your hardwood floor. So don't let that happen. So you need to grab a length of PVC pipe that is taller than, taller than the receptacle and it's going to fit underneath the tree right there. Then you're going to need to get from Amazon two gizmos. I will list the part numbers for this afterwards, but basically it's a switch. It allows you to control 12 volt, a 12 volt signal with a low volt signal. And you need this in order to operate this level switch. I got this from an aquarium store. Basically you affix it and it's basic, it's exactly like a toilet bowl float. The minute this, the minute that this goes high enough, it turns the water flow on and Bob's your uncle. Um, there's two ways to wire this thing, obviously. One way is that so that it when the water when the when the float goes too low, it turns the water on. I think there's an opposite way to wire it where if it the float goes too high, it turns the water on. But anyway, um, aquarium store, this thing is about an inch wide, an inch in diameter, let us say. You need one of those. You need a bunch of hose. This is just um, I don't know quarter inch hose, 3 16 hose. You're gonna need some brackets because you need to affix the PVC pipe solidly to the tree with at least one bracket. And then you're gonna need to affix the rubber hose to the tree with, I would suggest, at least two brackets. I got away with one this year. But what you really wanna make sure doesn't happen, obviously, if you leave this unattended, and for whatever reason, one, the switch gets knocked and is sitting horizontally and doesn't ever turn off, the water will flow and flow and flow until it overflows. Two, if this rubber hose comes out of the uh, PVC pipe, then the same thing will happen. Every time the water turns on, it'll flow all over the floor. So those are the two things to watch out for. Forgot to mention two things. One is you're going to need something to affix the sense, the level sensor to the tree. I, I use this stuff and all I did was bend it in such a way that it would grip onto the frame of the base as well as grip onto the tree. So I bent it so that it springs back and, and doesn't move. You're also going to need a 12 volt um, power supply. So. All I did was head to Canadian Tire and grab two six volt batteries, which fit side by side in the bottom box. And then I wired them in series to get 12 volts out of them. And then if you do want a manual cutoff switch, you're gonna to need to get a switch. Any switch will do as long as it can handle 12 volts or greater. Uh, you don't need the switch, but honestly, it's highly desirable because there are times where you really just will want to shut it off. Uh, maybe the sound annoys you overnight, or maybe you just want it off during the summertime when you're storing the stuff. All right, I was being lazy. I'm going to give you the wiring. Um, the wiring, some wiring tips for wiring the switch. All right, so what you want is... Two wires leaving the switch, obviously. One of those wires goes to the top. The other wire, one of the wires goes to the top left of the switch itself. Once here, like that. The other wire coming from the switch goes to the positive end of one of the batteries. The On the other side of the switch, you'll have three wires departing. The first one is directly opposite the other one on, the other, on this side. This wire here, if you follow it, goes to one terminal, one of the two connection points on the water pump. That's 
the first connection here, right here. Let's follow it again just to make sure. There you go. The second white wire is wired to the bottom right, and it goes to the negative terminal on the second battery. The control wire leaves bottom left and heads out to one of the two terminals on the level sensor. The other wire of the level sensor comes back and goes to the positive terminal of the first battery. Um, hopefully that helps. I know it looks a little bit messy, but once you close up your gift boxes, you can't see anything. Now, you might be asking yourself where the other wire from the water pump goes. Well, the other wire from the water pump, if you follow it, goes to the negative terminal of the second battery. So exiting the first battery, you've got your control wire from the switch. Exiting the first battery, positive terminal, control wire from the switch, and one wire to the on-off switch. Negative post of the first battery goes from negative of the first battery to positive of the second battery. And then on the other, on the other battery, on the leaving the negative terminal here, we've got one wire to the, to the water pump, a second wire to bottom right of the switch, and a th one, two, that's it. And on the positive terminal of the second battery, you've just got that tie cable from one battery to the other. All right, that does it. That should send you in the right direction as far as how to wire this, um, this switch of some sort, which I will give you a link to in the description. Merry Christmas. Okay.